Hello, I'm Maud and I grew up in Oxford and I'm a shoemaker, designer and leather, all things leather maker. So these, this pair of shoes, I didn't actually buy them, they, I made them and they were one of the first pairs that I made um, and I wanted the simplest possible design that I could think of. This green colour is one of my favourites, just it's really subtle and it showed the lines. From when I was very little and I had my first ever pair of shoes made for me and I went with my mum and we had, a, I got made a tea bar sandal and it was, I remember going into school and everyone thought they were really cool <laughs> and then after that, after a year or so, the company that we did it with, you're allowed to get them re-stretched over the last, so you use the same upper but you just re-stretch the leather into a slightly larger shoe large size um, and that just I found that insane <laughs> I thought that was amazing so I remember going in and seeing this shoe that I'd been wearing taken apart and then re-stretched and just completely made into something I could then wear again and I just remember as a child thinking that that's really cool so yeah I, I think that's my earliest memory of the shoes that are quite similar to the ones I make in terms of construction like stitch down construction and I think after that, that was always in my mind that that was something that was possible, that like someone has to make shoes, so who does it? I went to university, studied geography, didn't like it, didn't work, <laughs> um, so left after a year and then I thought right well I'm actually going to do what most of my teachers, most of my peers wouldn't encourage me to do but it's, I think I remember a special experience in my own shoes but I think it was, it's very self-centred so I feel a bit embarrassed to say it but I think I was in the Barbican Centre which is around the corner from my university and I was wearing a red pair of these and I was really proud of them because I'd recently kind of designed them and made them I think I was 19 or something and a guy who was much older than me and looked very cool came up and said oh excuse me where did you get your shoes from and I just thought that was amazing kind of went oh other people can like stuff that I've made up and that was a real like big thing for me because I don't generally I always assume someone wouldn't until it's kind of like confirmed so <laughs> so I think that was kind of a really nice thing yeah that happened in shoes and to do with my shoes which was like probably <laughs> actually really boring now I'm probably thinking oh I wonder how these are shaping on my feet because most of the time I'm testing my own shoes so, <laughs> so most of the time I'm actually thinking like all oh, right if I wear these today then I'll manage to see like how they fit and how they work but I think when I put on my shoes I'm just thinking right cat's in bike helmet <laughs> like really kind of practical but I do you definitely put on my shoes as a sign of that where I'm going so if I don't want to go i.e I'm tired or I don't want to go to work <laughs> then that's a definite avoidance is putting on my shoes because once I put my shoes on I have to go you don't have an option because I don't like wearing shoes inside so me Oxford's really special probably because I grew up here so I know a lot of the area I remember a lot of the areas from when I was younger and a very different person. I, guess I do love Oxford for that kind of close communities that are so different in each area, a different big mixture of people. I really, I, one of my biggest things is that, that it's, it's kind of corny I think, but the kindness is free. They can't, there's nothing, it's not hard to do. Um, and I think everybody should have almost like a level of kindness that accepts someone else, well like talking about someone else in someone else's shoes is you essentially like patience and kindness I think is something that everyone should have. I think everyone has the right to live on their own terms within reason. Everyone should also be allowed to choose what they what they live by I think. I think freedom of movement is probably one of the most important things that individuals can have. Sort of, I find that strange that you would even uh, not allow people to move freely. Um, well, I know some people who are refugees and I know that freedom of movement for them is very um, important but, in, but it's in a very different context. I would compare it on a moral level for myself. But then when you get down to it, it's very, you're dealing with very different systems and stuff and that's just 
it's sad that there's almost a system at all, though there must be for us. We're very lucky to be able to move wherever we want. It's weird because I think it's only really been questioned recently with the referendum here. People getting frustrated about whether or not they can go on the fast passport queue, but people can't cross a border because they Someone's put a massive, uh, I could get really political about it, but you know, a war or whatever. I, I just think it's very, you know, open acceptance and, and discussion is much better about talking about whether people should move or, you know, and each case as it comes rather than, um, you know, put up the shutters kind of thing. I think I probably go through life quite cautiously, secretly, but outwardly, I think I go quite open things or I overthink things all the time but outwardly I'm very like <laughs> so I just kind of spout everything but inside I'm kind of um, whirring or something um, loudly cautious I'd like be remembered by uh, making things and, but also be remembered as kind of open and leaving very little yeah physically I think leaving as little as possible but mentally or memor memorably, I think uh, exploring and making things and um, hands. I always think of myself as leaving hands rather than feet, which is kind of ironic. But um, you know, like like using your hands to do stuff. I think it's really yeah something I'd like to be remembered by. Always like physically moving. Like my grandmother, Granny, is always you know would make something or she'd be a farmer so she'd be milking the goats so always hands would be involved in life so I think thinking of hands in death is quite nice for some reason if that makes sense yeah <laughs> so most of the time that I, most of the time I have spare think thoughts thinking it's always about how to learn more to get to a point where making shoes is something that is uh, that I feel that my skills match up to what I would like my skills to be. So I don't think I'm a perfectionist, but I'm very like hardwired to be like I need to do it properly, otherwise there's no point. And I think I'd like in my new pair of shoes. I think I'd like to make more new pairs of shoes. I'd like to go to more places physically in the in the world, <laughs> but I'd also like to go to feeling more satisfied with the things I'm making. Yeah. Go to more of a kind of like confident place of this is what I do and that's <laughs> that's it. <laughs> there's no kind of there's no complicated thing around where you're going or what you're doing and how it works and why and everything. It just is this is what I do and that's how it's done. I always look at people's shoes. It's impossible not to. And I can I'm probably too judgmental on people on their shoes, actually, I think. Especially on the tube, on the underground, it's just, you're all sat there, and no one wants to look at each other, but everyone looks at each other's shoes. And I can do it without, like, <laughs> being embarrassed. I know it's, yeah, I probably attach quite a lot of um, personalities to shoes, straight away. And without even questioning it, it's just like, yeah, that's what they're like. Which is really bad, actually. Not good, but I, but then, it's proved me wrong many a time as well, and I'm fully aware of that. I do, a lot of the time, one of my biggest notices with shoes is that I notice someone that I like what they're wearing a lot. And I look at their shoes and go, oh, and that's awful. Cause, and the other way around a lot as well. I can see someone's shoes and go, ooh. And then look up and go, oh, I don't like the dress. And it's so, unne I mean, I don't, I don't even, I'm not even bothered by what people wear, but if I'm noticing what people wear, I'm kind of like, it's always the opposite way around, which is really strange. Yeah, isn't it? I already know what you're... <laughs> I actually quite like those, though. Yes, making shoes, I think, is the passion of my life. I think it's the main thing that I do and I'm interested in and I think about. 